Hey everyone, and welcome back to Body Cam Reality News. It's good to have you here. Back in May of 2023, officers from Round Lake Beach, a small town in Illinois, were called due to a suspected drunk driver. What was most concerning was that there were two kids in the back of the car, and the driver was driving quite poorly. Officer Zorno and Commander Cordes arrived to the vehicle's location where they in fact did find two children in the back seat. Let's see what happens. Hello. You guys doing okay? Uh, where's mom at? Inside? Okay. Can, can you roll down the window for me again? Uh, how long has your mom been inside? You said she just went in there? Okay. How long have you guys been driving for? Ooh. Why are you in my car? Hello. They had a couple calls about the kids being in the car. How do you have a couple cars? I've been in the car for like in the house, in the uh, store for two minutes. Oh, that's not a good start. Let's play that again. How do you have a couple cars? I've been in the car for like in the house, in the uh, store for two minutes. I know people are also in the store and then they come out, see the kids in the car, and then they call us. Yeah, you look at them. They're fine. Okay. I mean, how are you right now? I'm fine too. Okay, have you had anything to drink today? No. I'm like going to the store. They're in the car. There's no reason to bring them in the liquor store. Okay. I mean, I'm just asking. I'm explaining to you why I'm out here. Like, that's weird. Like, babies. Ninety-two, thirteen. I'm ten-two. Oh. We get them. I was just gonna say for another one. I was just gonna ask for another one. Okay. Are you guys okay? Right. I, I mean, like I said, it, they called because the kids were left unattended in the car. That's weird because I literally just went in here. Okay. Like, how long do you spend in a liquor store? You know what I'm saying? You go in, you get what you need, and you come out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Okay. Hey, would you mind doing some tests to, to verify that you're okay no, to drive? No, I'm not doing nothing. Okay. Well, they want to sign. I'll go talk to them again. They're sitting down there. I'll find out. Huh? Yeah, yeah. The concern right now is you driving. I'm good. Thank okay, you. Okay, I'm. I'm going to be honest. You, you don't appear. To be good at this point. How do I not appear to be good? I'm pissed off. Hi. So what? What do you guys see? Uh, we've been following them since Fox Lake. Okay. Um, I was the driver, okay. and I she started going in and out of traffic, and I was like, okay, maybe she's on her phone. Until she went over a curb, like. Where full where on. was it, where was this at? Over uh, by dogs, dogs and subs. Yes. I literally put in here. Uh huh. Went to the store. Right. And I'm going home. Um, uh, on the yeah. way here, she almost hit two guardrails, okay. literally feet within them. Five, almost five mailboxes, okay. couple trees, uh, oncoming traffic, she... Any, probably, anything coming right up here? Yeah, she, okay. yeah, she just, almost hit a red truck on, um... So she was failing to maintain her lane? She, yep, like, cruised into the... She okay. was in our lane, right. the next lane, okay. and oncoming traffic. Right. Um, and you're over here, like, oh, your kids, blah, blah, on the city. I'm like, what? Like, I literally went in the store. There's no reason to take them out to go to the store. Right. I, I mean, like I said, you, you asked why we're out here and by the car, and I'm giving you the reason, but after after speaking to you, it, it, it appears that you've been consuming alcohol today. So I'm... How does that appear? Are you guys like obviously you understand we didn't we're not seeing any driving but are you guys willing to sign a complaint? Yes, yes. Because okay. when I heard those kids were both wrong. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Because you're you're slurring your speech and you're this how it's up. Okay. I mean, would you be willing to perform some tests? I'm or? not performing anything. Okay. So I'm just trying to go to the store, take my kids home, and be fine. I understand that. We're, I mean, we're just trying to make sure that everyone's safe to, to do so. You see, I got bottles of water right here. Like, there's nothing, nothing going on here. 
Right. So I, I didn't, I didn't actually see her operate. They're willing, to, they're, they're willing to. Uh, they said your driving was atrocious, man. Coming, from, coming all the way from Five Sled. You almost hit the red, red truck. So how much you had to drink? No, that's what I'm saying. I came here. I was going to take my kids. And like, oh, I want to go to the park. So we're going to go to the park. I stopped here. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So, say, tell us you had nothing. Is isn't, isn't, isn't gonna, isn't gonna work? That much I can tell. Okay. Yeah, you're, I just you're, earlier. Okay, but I, okay. You're you're giving me the indications. Do you see of, me park of, right here, bro? Like, it's a, it's stop a, it's that, it, that doesn't matter. I am, I, ma'am. I am not playing. We are not playing. Yeah, that I'm much I can playing. assure you. And I'm not playing. Okay. I'm not. So playing. the qu the question is right now. I'm seeing indications that you're under the influence. How so you, do you can, see so those you can prove me. Okay, your speech. How the odor, do you I see? I just, I just, told, I just told you your speech. I told you your speech. Okay, and you're, you're leaning over I'm, the car. You're, you're, I smell the alcohol coming off your breath. So, are you going to do fields or not? Am I going to do what? Are you going to do field sobriety tests or not? No. You're, you're and not, I have children in the, ch in okay. the car. Well, you know what? You should have thought of that before you decided to drive under the influence. Exactly. Vehicle. That's what I'm saying. I'm not okay. under the influence. Yeah. Well, I, I believe you are. Prove that you're not. How? How do you want me to prove that? By doing field sobriety tests. Okay. okay, let's stop here for a second. I commonly hear police say you need to prove to me that you're not drunk, that you need to take the field sobriety test in order to show the officer that you are sober. And that is not how it goes, guys. You never have to assist the officers in their investigation against you. Under the Fifth Amendment of the Constitution, you have a right against self-incrimination, and that's basically what they're trying to do. They're trying to get you to incriminate yourself. We've seen many lawyers in this case just recommend to remain silent and refuse any and all field sobriety tests. And that's probably what Nicole should be doing at this moment. Okay. All right. So just stand straight, feet together, arms down at your side. Okay, I'm gonna have you stare at the tip of my pen. Okay, and nothing else. You understand the instructions? Mm -hmm. All right. Just keep your head still. Don't move your head. Just yeah, just move your eyes. Oh, you oh your just the eyes. eyes? Just your eyes. Yeah. Just, your just the eyes. Keep your eyes. How are you keeping still? These are dumb, brother. Oh, I'm moving my head. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, ready to restart? Yeah, I guess I'm like I'm moving my head. Like, what is going on? Keep, keep your head level, okay. only your eyes. Okay. All right, so like, literally, I'm not drunk. I swear to God, like, please don't right. do this to me. So, next one we're going to do is the uh, what we call the walk don't and turn. Do that. Like, for real, because I can't do that on a regular day. Okay. Like, I swear to God, I'm not drunk. Like, bro, I'm not drunk. Okay, I mean, we only have two more tests, and then, like I said, if you're, if you're good to go, yeah. then. I, like, ask my kids. I'm not drunk. I know. Well, I mean, this will, like I said, and, just like, verify it. And, like, this will ruin my whole f***ing life. I mean, we, like I said, we got to make sure everyone's safe to be on the road, and like, it, especially with I kids. Can, I can get home. You can travel me. 92, 13, 7. I don't have time for this. 40, we're going to So, we'll... we'll Skip the walk and turn for now. All right. Don't tell me to say my ABCs backwards. We're not going to tell you to say your ABCs backwards. Like, I can, can a normal person do that? So all you got to do is stand there, feet together, arms down at your side. All right. When and I, I got them slides. Okay. I mean, do you wish to take them off? More. Is it more comfortable? What are we doing? So it's called a one-legged stand. All right. So maintain this position. Hold on. Together, He's going to explain and demonstrate. Just watch and listen, and then and then he'll tell you when to perform the test. All right, so when I tell you to do so, you're going to raise one of your feet, either one you can pick, approximately six inches off the ground. Okay, and then you're going to stare at the tip of your tip of your foot, and you're going to count. One Out loud. Thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, and you're going to continue to do so until I tell For you to stop. For how long? Until I tell you to stop. So it's it's very simple, like you said. Have your hands at your side. This is 
Okay. Says. You're going to go ahead and lift whichever leg you choose and count out loud. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, and so on and so on. I'm driving, do I have to do that? Huh? No, but I got to stand No. Balance. Well, can you, can you explain up to us the poor driving all the way from Fox Lake to here? Yeah, I can drive. No, can you explain the poor driving? Why Why was your vehicle called in? About almost Who called it? Vehicle? I don't understand. We, we got a complainant that I just that I just talked to. Probably because I was texting. Probably because you, probably because you were texting. Okay. Okay. But, but you also have to understand we do smell alcohol coming off your breath. Right, are you ready to perform the test? Do you need me to explain it again? No. You said balance. Yeah, so either, either foot, you choose, approximately six inches off the ground. Keep your arms down at your line. side. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Just like I'm doing it. Well, just like you're doing it. Yeah. So start whenever you're ready. Barely can I do this. So you, you can't do XCM moves. Okay, all right. Let me back, let me back to the side. Wait, I came to the liquor store to get the liquor. I don't have no liquor. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. I don't feel like I could do Oh, maybe I can. You want to try it out? So you, you start whenever. <laughs> this is the dumb <laughs> that I ever, I never done this. Hey, it's a, the test they tell us to do. How long? Until we tell you to stop. But you got to count too. You got to go one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Four, one thousand. This extra time. Hold on. Like, walking and saying alphabets backwards is all done. I've had three years, so it doesn't matter. So you have how, how many? Three? <laughs> when was the most recent one? Um, 2021. Okay. You stop coming. What, I, I'm not supposed to be counting. You're supposed to be counting. Like, how long am I supposed to count for? I told you until we, so we tell you to stop. Like, forever? No, <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be only 30 seconds. So, like, to 2030? No, 30 seconds. So, realistically, you're supposed to get to 1,030. 1,030? Like, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, up until you get to 1,030. Yeah, I can... It's how it's supposed to go. Look. Okay. Will you be uh, willing to uh, give us a breath sample? No. No? You won't give us a breath sample? Okay, it's your right to refuse. All right. Do you have your ID on you? Walk and turn? No. Do, do you want to do the walk and turn test? The what? Walk and turn? Yeah, the like, like test? I don't understand why y'all want me to do all this bush. So it's the Make last sure test we gotta do. I look, you see how that just flipped out of it? That's how driving goes. Okay. Alright, we'll, we'll we'll do the last That's test how and then goes. That is your forty year status. And then we'll go from there. Like literally I need to get my babies home. Well, we're, we're working on that. No, but like literally, oh, maybe if I go like this with my shoes on. I'm not drunk, I swear to God. Please don't not do this to me. Like, please don't do this to me. We're not doing anything to you. Um, are you, are you do you want to do the walk and turn? We'll just Where basically walk, walk, walk in a straight line. So we'll, we'll start over here? We'll start over here. All right. So we'll, we'll have you stay on the line Yeah. for now. And the yellow one? Just stand the yellow line. Use this yellow line. Put your, okay, we're going to put you in the circle. It's going to look this. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, all the way till you get to nine. Then you're going to go ahead and turn around and take nine steps back. You're super sober, and I did drink today. I did not get drunk, but I'm super, you know what I'm saying? I'm not drunk. Before you said you didn't drink. 
that? No, I so, said I had a couple drinks, but I did not get drunk. Okay. How many is a couple? A couple is like uh, a Monaco. A what? Is it a Monaco? Okay. Then I just want or Did I buy? 23. No, I'm like, they might have robbed me. They might have robbed you? Yeah, because you guys came on up in. Did I get my Monaco? I... Uh, no, you didn't come out with anything. All right, so so we're gonna start like this. Hands down at your side. Sp series of small steps. Heel the toe. No beam here, it's just like four thirty three on car to car with no more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me do that first. Thirty four thirty three parking lot. I'm seeing so you can see. Nice right. plane around here. Thirty four thirty three on parking lot one. one. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't even know how I'm counting. Okay, okay. So are we all together? All right. So one more key. Can you place your hands behind your back? Okay. All right. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, it is. So you're being placed under arrest for driving under the influence. God, are you serious? Okay, hey, just, just relax. We'll get you through it. We'll get you in process, and we'll get you out. Dude, I'm on probation already. I don't have time for on this. On probation for what? I, for DUI. Like, I don't have time for this. Three priors. Is she, is her license valid? I no, know. it's not. Relax. Don't make, don't make anything worse, okay? Worse? Don't make anything worse. I just worse. want this line for you. You are not fit to drive by any shape or I am shape or fit game. to drive. I live literally in Ingleside. I'm right there. Okay. Please. Okay. Who, relax. Who can we relax? Who can, who can we call? Who can we call? Nobody. It's just me. Then we're gonna have to call the DCFS to come get. Who can we? You gotta have a friend or someone that you trust. Now is the, now. No what? Okay. Well, then I don't have much of a choice. Then it's gonna be DCFS. And you failed the test. No, I didn't. You did. No, I didn't. The fucking line is a stupid ass fucking test anyway. Okay. Nine two forty. Can you send another unit over here? I got two juveniles. We're gonna have to transport to you. Signal one. Yeah, call my baby daddy. Call him now. No. Stop touching me. I want to get some information, get a statement from you guys. Um, if you if you guys got that, yeah. Um, th all I can say, I know this looks terrible and everything um, for her, but you guys you guys did the right thing. I mean, oh, I know. dude, as she, soon as I saw those other kids, potentially she she based on our observations, she's very intoxicated. So. Seatbelt. So if you slide over, I'll put the seatbelt on you. Wait, fuck, I didn't even do it, man. Is that like a Yeah. Sir, can you give this to the kids? I know it's probably not going to help. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's not always I, I, We will do that. She is revoked. Oh, 
asshole. 94. Okay. The, the dad's name, so he can come and pick up the kids. He lives in Waukegan. Well, I mean, I think it's better that the kids go with the dad than someone else, right? Because yeah, if, if we can't get a hold of dad or another family member, we got to contact DCFS. 94, 43, Joe. Do you know what his name is? Nicole Morris. I didn't get kids in for anything yet. That's... This is Commander Cordes from the Round Lake Beach Police Department. Um, we have uh, your two kids here in Round Lake Beach with, uh, I guess it's, you're the, uh, uh, the father. And uh, mom is under arrest right now for DUI. Is it po is it possible that you can come get them, the kids? Is, it, is that your mom's phone or is that your phone? Okay, is he coming? Yeah. Coming here? Yeah. Is that your phone or is that mom's phone? Have you ever been to Okay. You know I think she the, needs the one. Movie theater is, is, uh, and then I think dad's coming for you. Yeah, dad's going to come pick you guys up, okay? Yeah, no, the, but the, your mom, uh, she got to come with us for a little bit. So we're going to take her cell phone so she can have phone numbers and she can call you guys when she's done. Okay. Can you get mom's phone? Both of them? Okay. okay. Thank you. Ninety-four thirty-three. go ahead. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. So Nicole here was transported to the Lake County Jail. She was charged with aggravated DUI, two counts of child endangerment, aggravated DUI with license suspended or revoked, and driving with license suspended. So uh, five, five total charges. It looks like Nicole spent about two and a half months until August 10th before she was able to post the $15,000 she needed to get out and post bond and her next court date is October 10th for anyone who's interested in attending. And as for some quick thoughts, you know, at first I felt bad for Nicole, but then I snapped out of it and realized that was stupid. Um, she's put those kids definitely in danger and probably multiple times. I mean, I think people get away with about 80% of the crimes they commit, you know, so it's very likely she's driven with kids in the car while intoxicated multiple times. It's just likely. That's completely unacceptable these days with Uber and the uh, technology and breathalyzers that they have. I don't know if you guys know, but they've gotten so advanced with breathalyzers, they, they're small enough now to go on a keychain. We have a link in the description I'll put down there for one that we recommend by Backtrack. It's just an Amazon link. Uh, they're not sponsors of the channel or anything like that. And while you're down there, we have some discount codes on really cool products. And if you like discounts, check this out. Nestled in the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina is a small farm that mixes the highest quality hot sauces on the planet. Let me show you. Our friends over at Up All Night Bottling Company have set out on a mission to bring you sauces that are small batch, hand mixed, and straight from the farm right into the bottle. Up All Night sauces have become hugely popular, and I myself am a big fan. For a limited time, they're offering all of our fans a 15% discount off their wonderful products. Use the link below to reach their website, and while checking out, just enter the code BCRN15 in the promo code section to get your discount. We're only going to be promoting the best products on this channel, and this is absolutely one of them. Pick up a three-pack of sauces today. Thanks, guys.